All right. What we're going to do is, first of all, we're going to demonstrate the, the energy that exists within all of us. And for this, I will need four volunteers, if I may. And please, I, I, I promise you, no volunteers will be injured in the making of this demonstration. So may I, thank you, please come forward if you will. I need just three more of you to come forward. I promise I don't bark and I don't bite. And if I should start, I have had my rabies injections. Please, please, come on down. I just need three more of you. All right, all right. We got you. Excellent. Thank you. Because I could do it, but I don't want you all to think I'm, I have anything to do in manipulating any of this. I don't. But what I'm going to do first, and this is great because we're in a bit of a semicircle, I am going to ask if we may, and your first name is? Ben. Ben, thank you. Ben, I'm going to ask you to take hold of this with this hand, if you will. Perfect. And then, your first name is? Dalton. Dalton, please come forward, and I'll have you take your right hand, and I'll have you circle right there. Perfect. Now, you'll notice nothing is happening yet, but I'm going to ask Ben and Dalton to take their other hands and touch fingertips to each other. <laughs> ah, and then let go. Very good. And you see the electricity that is generated between Ben and Dalton. Now I'm going to ask, please, your first name is? Michael. Michael, would you please take your index finger and touch Ben's? And then your first name? Reagan. Reagan, please come on down. And I'll have you touch index fingers with Dalton. And then I'm going to ask you both to touch index fingers. And you see, we could get everyone in the room, and you may let go. We could get everyone in the room together and make a circle all around the room, and the last two individuals touch index fingers, and the light would light, the sound would sound. A round of applause, please, for our colleagues. Thank you. Thanks so much. Thank you. The energy. Now we're going to see what we can do with that energy that exists within each and every one of us here in the room. Remember we talked about water. Water is truly life-saving. If we look at this piece of wood, it's a two by two, oh, about a two by two by nine. Once this was living, once this was a tree. And now it's a piece of lumber. And what is it missing? What is it truly missing to be vibrant? It's missing water. So what we're going to do, we are going to attempt, I am going to take the piece of lumber and just set it up against the bottle of water. This is an experiment because I'm going to ask you all to focus your concentration your energy into that bottle of water to excite the molecules so that some of those molecules will jump into that piece of lumber to give it just enough life for just enough time that we can see that piece of lumber move, perhaps even cause it to fall over. So please do not cause a headache, do not cause eye strain. But I want you please to focus on that bottle of water and let's see if we can reactivate that piece of lumber just long enough to make it well done. Please give yourselves a round of applause. Well done. And now, energy. That's positive energy. What about negative energy? Negative energy when we feel angry, even when we feel feelings of guilt shame, negative energy. I'm going to ask you all in just a moment to harness what little bit of negative energy may be there, and I know it's small in each of you because you all are beacons of good light. So now, what I'm going to do is I am going to place this paper cup here. I will containerize it. 
So I can't go near it or touch it. I have no way to activate that. However, I want you all to focus on that cup, please. I want you all to focus your energy on that cup as strongly as you can so that you will be able to cause that cup to move. I want you to focus on it, and as you do, sense and feel any negative energy you have. Go into that cup because hopefully, yes, wow, you guys are great. Please give yourselves another round of applause. Energy, the energy that exists in performing psychotherapy. You'll notice here I have five styrofoam cups. Yes? And I'm going to ask, I need a volunteer again, if I may. Again, all I'm going to ask the individual to do is to move the cups around. That's all. So please, no stress, no anxiety, no heavy lifting. Just one volunteer, if I may, to come on down. Please, would one of you be willing to come down and help? Thank you. Please, a round of applause for our very brave soul. Thank you. Because as you come down, please come on around behind the table. Your first name is? Maddie. Maddie. Maddie, you will notice that underneath each of these cups is a little holder, like a candle holder, yes? And under this cup, there is a spike. Maddie, I'm just going to ask you to hold your hand out for a moment. Would you please verify that's heavy, yes? Yep. Very heavy. And I'm going to ask you gently to touch the tip of that spike. Would you say that is sharp? Yes. That that could perform a painful impalement, yes? What I am going to do, in a moment, I'm going to step forward. So I cannot see the position into which you place these. I'm going to ask you in a moment just to move these around and put them in any order you want. And then, if you will, to give them enough space and then cover them with the cups. Once that is done, then I just want you to say, Dave, I'm ready. Okay. As I step forward. Now you all will know where the spike is going. I have no idea. And so I'm going to be counting on you all through your positive energy to keep me from being impaled on that spot. How are we doing, Maddie? <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready. All right, Maddie. Thank you. You are great. You may return to your seat, and I thank you so much. Thank you. And in fact, what we're going to do, you see, we're going to use energy. And what's the energy we're using? Maddie held that spike for me. Maddie, thank you. So Maddie, what I'm looking for is Maddie's energy. Because what we're talking about here is we are talking about psychotherapy. And when we perform psychotherapy, it can be painful and traumatic for the patient. And of course, what we're working with is the patient's inner disquietude. And so we are hoping to be able to allow the patient to access through true therapy, through analytic process, to get to the unconscious, 
so that we're able to bring out So we're able to bring out what is going on within the patient because what we need to do is harmonize the dis-ease, the disquietude within the patient. And our goal is to allow the patient to reach a point, a point of ease so that we know that patient has now achieved healing from within. And I want to thank you all. And thank you, Maddie, for your positive energy. The road, Royal Road to the Unconscious, the power of dreams. Now I'm going to ask, is there anyone in the room here who has a comfort level with playing cards? It doesn't mean that it's the product of a misspent youth. It doesn't mean you've spent way too much time in inappropriate gaming houses. Anyone here comfortable with a deck of playing cards knows one card from another. Anyone here play cards at all? <laughs> Anyone know it? All right, great, great, thank you. And, and I, now your first name is? Isabel. Isabel. I'm going to throw you a box of cards with the deck inside. You're going to do great. I don't want you to worry. No stress. Okay. I'm going to ask you in a moment to catch the deck of cards. And once you catch it, then I'm going to ask you to open the box, to remove the cards, to hand the box to Maddie. Then I'm going to ask you to go through the cards and find a card you like. Now, not a joker, because I'll be a joker. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thanks. And then what I'm going to ask you to do is take your card out, turn the rest of the deck squared up, face up to the ceiling, put your card in face down. So it's the only face down card in the deck. Now, are you ready? Yeah. Here goes. Throwing you the box of cards. Good catch. Thanks. Now I'm going to ask you please to open the cards, open the box, and I'll have you hand the box to Maddie. Maddie's going to hold on to the box. I want you to go through the cards. Find a card that you like. Please, not a joker. And then I'm going to ask you to take the deck, square it face up toward the ceiling, and take your card, put it face down into the deck. And now it's best if I have you get the box back for Maddie. Because, and it's best if you close the box so that when you throw the box to me, we don't have 52 card pickup. So if you'll throw the box back to me. Okay. Yes. Good throw. <laughs> now, this box of cards has within it 52 playing cards. I took the, I left one joker in, by the way. 52 playing cards and one joker. Last night at three in the morning, I awoke from a dream. Remember, Freud talked about the royal road to the unconscious being dreams. In that dream, I dreamt we were going to do this today. That is a patent dream, albeit precognitive, because I got up at 3 in the morning, and I removed the deck of cards the box, out of the box, and I went through and I selected one card and put that one card face down into the face-up deck. And I'm going to ask, please, what was the card you were thinking of? The Eight of Clubs. I want you all, please, to watch closely. My fingers never leave my hands. Nothing up my sleeves other than my arms. I remove the cards. We're looking for one face-down card. And the card you selected, you said, was the Eight of Clubs. We're going to go through the deck, and we are going to look for one and only one face-down card. And what's interesting here, there is one and only one face-down card. May I ask you, Isabel, to come forward, if you will, because I am going to ask you to remove that one face-down card that is the only face-down card in the deck. I will step to your side as I ask you to remove that face down so no one sees it yet. What was the card you selected? Would you please show it to the camera and the, 
and the rest of the students, the aid of clubs. Please, a round of applause. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you all for staying a little later. I will end now, and thank you. Thank you. Thank you.